how much is that aesthetic sensibility important for people that want to be in the record business? I mean, you hear about these people that know every, every record that's ever been made, but they don't have any kind of taste. Mm -hmm. you know, and that, that issue of taste, while it's a very, a very hard one to, to quantify, it strikes me as someone who wants to be successful in this business needs to have an aesthetic, needs to have a point of view. Um, you have a very defined point of view. How does, that, how does that manifest itself in the way you do business? Well, I don't know if it's the best thing to say to people who will be hearing this, which is students, but I don't, I don't um, believe so much in this thing of focusing so much on, uh, on a narrow focus. Mm. You know, I believe <clears throat> that you should live your life and be as open as possible all the time to new influences, new ideas, and you can get them from different places, you know. <clears throat> so you can see something or you hear something there, and you can think how you can adapt that, adapt that to something else. So I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, I'm just not a, a, f a very, um, uh, you know, f when I say focused, uh, there's another word I'm looking for. Well, a generalist, you know, uh, with I'm specialities rather than being a specialist, you know. Right. And in and, and this, this time in the business, you need to, as we, talk, we began our conversation with the idea that you, you had a hand in all facets of the, mm -hmm. of the process, but more than that, you also brought to it this kind of, you know, you were, you were a water ski operator. Right. You were selling real estate. Right. You were um, the, the scout for the uh, Dr. No on the James right. Bond. You know, right. So this whole kind of body of knowledge that then you fine-tuned into the aesthetic that became Island Records. Right. Well, well there's, a, there's also a point there, too, you see, because I don't believe in this whole thing, this is a creative and this isn't creative. Everybody hmm. is creative. Everybody. The receptionist, how they answer the phone is creative at times, you know, or can be if they're encouraged to be or if they need to be. But I don't agree with all this nonsense that, oh, that's creative and they're not mm -hmm. creative. <clears throat> you know, every, every, every job, what creative means is you're trying to think, in my opinion, you're trying to think outside the box when you come to something and you have difficulty, you try and figure how do you get around that. And that you need to do in whatever, whatever job you're doing. So I'm, I'm, you know, I've, over years, I'm to some degree viewed as being a, quote, creative ex executive, but um, I don't, you know, I, I, I think, I, I, I think it's, I don't say it's a misnomer, I'm proud of ha having that, but I, I don't think it should be just, you know, limited to people who do my kind of job or mm -hmm. producers or writers or, you know, everybody.